Okay. So okay. you have artists like you mentioned Cuddy, and then there's other artists, uh, Charles Hamilton, uh, yeah. Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco. Ooh. Oh, please do one with Lupe. Please. please. Oh Yale God. Professor Lupe Fiasco. Yale oh Professor. Yes, yes, professor. yes, of course. Yes. But you know what? Kick you know, spent a couple things. weeks writing that verse. Like, you know, even <laughs> even early, even even early fresh print, you know, fresh prints, Will Smith. You know, oh, yeah. it was always yeah. about having just having fun. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, and there mm-hmm. you could tell there was a moment where even kid and play, there was a moment where it was crossing over to like, oh, this is the corny music. I'm like, no, but is it? Is it is it exactly really? you know what's, mm-hmm. you, sorry not to interrupt but that's such a good point because also randomly when I was around 16, 17, I became the biggest fresh prince and jazzy Jeff fan. And I watched my man, so let's many go. videos <laughs> and so many live shows. And so all of my shows have me and somebody doing choreo. And I fell in love with that era of like not even just hip hop, but just culture, like late 80s. Mm-hmm kind of new jack swing hip hop thing mm-hmm. that was bright vibrant pro the people pro fun and pro being like about yeah. ha- being happy yeah. right like salt and pepper mc light uh, oh gosh yeah even, you know what i mean like Queen Latifah. yeah mm-hmm. Queen Latifah, mm-hmm. fresh friends mm-hmm. and jazzy jeff uh kid and play like and and way more stuff there's so much of that that hip hop actually in its origin was like super bright, super funky, super like pro the people, right? Mm-hmm. And then like pro happiness. And then at the same time, the actual conditions that those people were just coming out of and were like emotionally, uh, not secure, but just like intact enough to be like, but we're so good, you can't hold us down, the man, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the same time, you had other kids in that same neighborhood in the same conditions that were like, nah, we're pissed off. We're thugged yeah. out and pissed off. And then, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, and like people forget that. And it's almost like, yeah, they start saying like, oh no, but that's like the corny side of hip hop because it's the happy side of hip hop. And if you take a step back and breathe and look, like, not saying this is, because I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so none of that, I don't really dive into that, but <clears throat> if you can go ahead and label is black and happy is corny, That's, right? That no, becomes that the norm. Like that becomes a normal thing. Happy, smile, black, super corny. Mm-hmm. And I like corny. Right. I like We're corny. cooked. Hello. Then at that point, we are cooked. We have been like branded to be whack because. When I were you happy, <laughs> like I don't know, like we're like, not about to be happy. How, 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 dare, how yeah. dare you be happy? You should be hard right now. Wait, you know, that's so happy about it. If you be selling if drugs, I'm angry, you happy? Like it's, it's not right. like. Yeah. It's like, you're not real either. If you're not talking about that, you're not real either. You're not right. real either, and it's like people. At some point, we forget that, like you know, uh, consumerism of like. Music, art, and culture will always be a thing. There will always be a human being that is deemed cool, that gets shit sold off of them because they're cool or likable mm-hmm. or whatever. That's always going to be a thing. There will always be movie stars. There will always be, like, fashion influence. There's always going to be people influencing people, right? You know? Like, talk show hosts, rappers, singers, dancers, movie stars, whatever. And, you know, like, and it's not just us, right? Like, there is... Rock music. <laughs> rock. Yeah, that's because you have fun. Like, for real. Rock music at some point was, like, all about, like, being, like, anti-everything and being, like, ah. And then the people who weren't like that weren't selling as well, right? And it's, yeah. like, a pendulum. So it swings. And at some point, being, like, super hard and super gangster was the only thing deemed, like, cool and real and authentic. And I would just like people to take a step back, look into that, and look about how well that would help anybody trying to oppress us. Right. And mm-hmm. don't take it as coincidence. That part. Don't take it as your own mm-hmm. choice. That part. You know, don't that take part. it Before as I clip that, clip that your part. own Sir. thing. Remember One that. One hour and seven minutes in. Clip that. <laughs> these people are like, like they're selling this because it's it's a music business. It's a culture business. You know, it's a movie business. But just remember that the images and the things you're listening to are being directed by somebody. And if for whatever reason, being happy, being optimistic, and being like peaceful and whatnot, and being black would just be the ultimate lamest thing to do, understand how much of a disadvantage that would put you at 
mentally. And remember that right. if smoking people that look like you is all you want to sing about, mm-hmm. just remember how much of a disadvantage that would put you out. I'm not conspiracy mm-hmm. theorists. I'm not saying the evil day <laughs> or trying to do this. Just saying, take a second to just think about that. And hopefully, that it's, it's like, you ain't, Kyle don't got to be your favorite rapper. You can be into some hard shit or whatever it is. Just try and make space for all things to exist, you know, equally. And don't just look at somebody that's like, quote unquote, a nerd is, oh, this whole shit is corny. Because at some point, you're going to be like a real adult and just want like a peaceful life with like some kids running around and like, you still don't want to be without just some leave. Like, yeah, yeah, you just don't want that. So this that, man, that's one thing I've noticed. Like you know, Mike, wow. that this man brought more bars than Beale Street. Let's go. Okay, come on. Now.